13-year-old dog costume is cheap, uh, but it's not, it's just a good tune. <laughs> um, I'm Gabe. I speak, you listen. The Dog Eat Dog World, it's not a good tune at all, it's an absolutely shit song. Uh, it's a bad, bad song with bad, bad lyrics, so I'm going to read you them. And I'm well aware that's not a good way to start a show, but um, if I set jazz pop love song as the kind of bar, then I can't lose afterwards. <laughs> uh, it's a dog eat dog world. I'm not surprised, not everything lasts. I bro I've broken my heart so many times, I stopped keeping track, talked myself in. I talked myself out. I get all worked up, then I let myself down. I tried so very hard not to lose it. I came up with a million excuses. I thought, I thought, of every possibility. And someday I know that it'll all turn out. You'll make me work, so we can work to work it out. Which sounds long-winded. And I promise you, kid, which is the weirdest bit of all, uh, that I'd give so much more than I get. I just haven't met you yet. I might have to wait. I'll never give up. I guess that that's half timing and the other half's luck. Wherever you are, whenever it's right, you'll come out of nowhere and into my life. And I know that we can be so amazing and ooh baby, your love is going to change me. <laughs> and now I can see every possibility and somehow 
I know that it'll all turn out. You'll make me work so we can work to work it out. <laughs> and I promise you, kid, I'd give so much more than I get. I just haven't met you yet. They say all's fair in love and war, but I won't need to fight it. We'll get it right and we'll be united. And I know that we can be so amazing and being in your life's going to change me. And now I can see every single possibility and someday I know it'll all turn out. And I'll work to work it out. Promise you, kid, I'll give so much more than I get, than I get, than I get, than I get. Oh, you know, it'll all turn out. And you'll make me work so we can work to work it out. And I promise you, kid, to give so much more than I get. I just haven't met you yet. I just haven't met you yet. Oh, promise you, kid. To give so much more than I get, I said love, 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 love. I just haven't met you yet. Love, 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 love. I just haven't met you yet. Now, I'm not proud in the slightest that I had to do that. And Michael Bublé should not be proud that he had to do it. And you might ask, why? Well... Here goes. July 2008, Michael Bublé's relationship with Emily Blunt breaks down. Bublé starts dating young, passionate, unimaginably beautiful, clever, multi-talented actor, singer, writer, musician and model and Argentine, Luis Lopita. Um, they're happy, probably. January 2009, <laughs> Haven't Met You Yet, gets its first radio airings across Canada, the US and the UK, which is number one in Canada and the US in its first week, and number five in the third week in the UK, August 2009, the singles released for sale. October 2009, the album Crazy Love is released for sale. Uh, November 2009, Buble proposes to Young passionate, unimaginably beautiful, clever, multi-talented actor, singer, writer, musician, model, and Argentine, Louis Ferro Pita. She says, yes, <laughs> clearly happy together forever. Buble marries Louis Ferro Pita, who's a young, passionate, uh, unimaginable, she's Argentinian. Uh, and they're, they're probably less happy than before, but they force bigger smiles. They are happy, uh, but they're not as happy as the strictly Christian parents who, when their 11-year-old son's only ambition in life was to be a jazz pop singer, didn't hold out much hope for their tolerance of his later sexual orientation. August 2013, 2.27am, Noah Bublé is bore by Louis Farah Bublé, and everyone's happy. Any remaining concerns, re-sexuality are abolished, and life continues. I just haven't met you yet, Bublé blares. I just haven't met you yet. I just haven't met you yet in January 2009, six months after I started dating you and six months before I'll propose marriage to you. No, I'm not gay, Mum. I, I just haven't met you yet, two years before I'll vow myself to you forever. I just haven't met you yet. We've got a son, a little baby boy whose instinctive need for a caring, consistent and supportive home is never going to be quenched because Daddy just hasn't met Mummy yet. I just haven't met you yet. Yes. You're, you're unimaginably beautiful, Louis Fanny, you multi-talented singer. No, it's not because you're Argentinian. No, Lulu, I'm not gay. I just haven't met you yet. Anyway, we all listened and we all danced along. I, as you can see, I'm bitter, but I, uh, I just wish Buble and others would write songs about things they actually think. He's a liar, I think, I suppose. I just have to think, oh well, I guess it's just a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there where the bigger and the stronger dogs. I'm bitter, but it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world and all that. Lyrics aren't everyone's strong point, I suppose. The ability to speak your actual opinion without having to lie your way into the lying pop industry isn't everyone's actual strong point, I suppose. I just haven't met you yet. So anyway, I'm Gabe. Um, that's why you're here. I speak, where was I? Sorry, you listen. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. One moment. One moment. Or, um, was it another hour in amongst many?
in amongst many more, let's say it was Tuesday, it was the other day, about three in the afternoon on Tuesday, on Wednesday, it was Wednesday, it was the other day, the two are, uh, they're not coincidentally my, uh, my only days off at current. It was a moment in an hour on a Tuesday, or a Wednesday, it was the other day, one moment. It was the other day, it was one moment within the other day. I was rehearsing my lines and my, um, uh, my annunciation, one moment, sorry, annunciation. For this piece of text as a performer does, I was testing myself for the structure, the poetry, and the sound of, of these words. I was ensuring that I, I did this properly for you, listeners. I read the text from front to back and from side to side, approaching from all different constructs and angles to ensure my correct portrayal of the text, of this text. One moment, I've got a dog. I'd like it to be a border terrier. It's not a border terrier, but it's a dog, nonetheless. And I was reading the text for this performance, and my dog bound in, as dogs do, and jumped up at me, bound straight into my rehearsal, and jumped straight up at my rehearsal, took the paper straight out of my hand, he did, and chewed it into an indefinable, let alone intelligible, papier-mâché tumour. It was the other day. Not long since, I was angry. I had lines to learn for this performance. Lines I'd have to speak and to say to people, to you people who have to listen. One moment. There's not much you can do to a dog or to a text once one's consumed the other. Uh, in fact, the text or the dog, dependent upon what's consumed, ceases to exist in that moment. Cease to exist. In that moment the other day, the dog, one moment, the dog and the, the text both cease to exist and begin to exist forever. In the moment one consumes another. That's a shame. I was angry the other day. One moment. It's okay now. I'm here and so are you and so's a text. I guess it's times like this one has to face up to the facts. It's a dog eat monologue world out there, you know. Has anyone got the time? must be broken. It's a dog eat cog world. Uh, funny that, isn't it? How it passes. It's never the same. Time's there, then it dies. It's a dog eat clock world. I'm not letting me get away with that one. That's fine. Uh, it's better than jazz pop love song. Time's so impermanent, in which case is it at all, and the answer perhaps that it isn't, or at least that's what I think. <sighs> Here's what I think. Here's what I think, if it matters at all. I, me, stood on a stage. Me, I think. What do I think? I suppose I think the things I wrote down to tell you I think. So this is precisely what I think. I think. I think I think dog eat dog. I think. I think therefore I am. I think dog eat dog. Therefore I am. Dog eat dog. At least that's what I published as the title. What I wrote at the time. What I thought at the time and was happy to be considered thinking. Right up until not long ago I wrote this page, that page, the page before. I wrote lots of other pages that are over there. Somewhere you'll hear them eventually, eventually in the not too distant future, said by a not too distant future me, as long as not too distant future me is happy to say them in comparison to his, to hers, to his, to the newest, 
sleeper on their train track of thought to the newest note in their sheet music of meaning and what it is for them for me to mean something then and you listeners not too distant future yous will share and you will listen you will think I think the not too distant future yous will share a room with not too distant future me I hope as we shared a room with the not too distant past each other's just thinking things thinking things about who about one another about my dog it's a dog eat monologue world thinking things about me for saying to you it's a dog eat monologue world bad dog I said bad dog they shouted she it cruel but the dog was being bad it was chewing up my monologue bad dog my dog Minton ate my shuttlecock bad Minton just a shit joke <laughs> I shouted as the bad dog itself chewed up one particular page of this monologue. However, one has to tell themselves, and others, or do they, that it's a dog eat monologue world out there, or is it? As the bad dog chewed, I saw a series of two words on the page, a series of two words that only appear in two sections of this monologue, once at the beginning and once at the end of the piece. Dog costume, and I thinking, I thinking chronologically as one would, thinking angrily, then thinking chronologically as one would, chose to tell myself what I would, what I am now telling to other people, that whilst it is a doggy monologue world, perhaps, as I saw that two-word phrase, as I saw dog costume, as I saw the words dog, and I saw costume disappear into a blurry conglomeration, that it was actually, in fact, a doggy prologue world. It's at times like these, hard times. When I'm stood here with nothing but a previously devoured monologue, specifically a previously devoured prologue that we all have to face up to the facts. It's actually, it's a doggy prologue world out there. I'm pushing it with these rhymes now. Uh, if I were you, uh, well what were you, were where, were what were where, were who were there, were what were you. If I were you, all the way over there, the other side of expecting something. If I were you, um, I'd have turned up. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not, and it is what it is. It is what it is, isn't it? It just is what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. It is this, and this is that, and that's that. It is what it is. It is just IT, not computers, they're computers. Not information technology, that's information technology, which translates in Cambodian to IT. I think, thus the confusion. Um, the letters I, then T. It is what it is. Uh, I am Gay Manthorpe. Sorry, I and T uh, with milk and sugar. I'm not. Um, sorry, I, I and T, which is nothing like G and T. G and T is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Peruvian for gin and tonic. Giante. Uh, it's horrible. No, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, it's a dog eat dog world, isn't it? No, it just is what it is. I plus T. I plus. T. It's not a dog eat dog world, it's this, isn't it? It's funny. It, it's funny our words and nothing, but at the same time that it, the thing, I plus T equals I, tea bag, kettle. Um, at the same time, it is what it is. It isn't what it isn't, and it was what it wasn't. It only is what it is, and that is that, and isn't that. Because that would depend entirely on what the it is, and that would depend entirely upon who was trying to portray what about what. I see dog, I say dog, I think dog. I think border terrier, but I have to buy a cheaper dog. I buy mongrel. Uh, I think buy a better dog when possible, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's a dog eat dog world. I think dog, I think monologue, I think prologue, I think bad dog, I think dog, I think D O G, I think costume, I think hang on. My prologue, as my dog chews it into nothing or does it? She it, because in my hands I have a dog costume, I have it. The words dog and costume. It is what it is and it's here and I'm happy but so is the dog. What are you eating? What page? But it's a few pages and they're all a mess and a conglomeration and I'm not even sure the dog can hear me, let alone will he answer. And I have it. Dog costume. There were two. So it isn't and it is what it was and what it wasn't. It all is what it is. I have a prologue in my hand. It's a dog eat prologue <laughs> world. I had said, but oh, how it wasn't because the title was here. Underlined and in bold, it was dog eat dog. And it is, isn't it? Or is it? And so... In limbo, knowing only now that it is what it is, I cast my mind to my monologue, for it was a dog-eat monologue world. However, more specifically, what was it? What was my dog eating? The words dog and costume. Where's my dog costume? My second dog costume. And that was it, and it was that. It was the end. It will be the end. Because dogs don't think chronologically, because dogs are stupid, especially Mongol dogs, so keep your eye out. In that moment, when it is what it was, but wasn't what it is, in that moment, it became clear that this would be this, and that would be that, and that my dog was eating the end of my monologue. It's a dog-eat-monologue world, but more specifically, as it is what it is, and what it is in that moment is what it was in that moment. In that tough moment, it was a dog-eat-epilogue world out there. No, that's, I mean, that's just completely nowhere now, isn't it? Um, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, just in 
it's just I'm trying to articulate a question. I'm trying to articulate a question as to whether or not it's a dog eat dog world, and you say the general consensus is um, you say, well, it is, isn't it? Is it? it is. And you say, hang on, what? And I say, a dog eat dog world, and you say, yes, but who in particular? I say, well, dogs, you say. I say, well, what dogs? You say, watch dogs. I say, who? You say, what? Now, <laughs> I'm a bit confused about all of this, um, but what I'm trying to say is, can you explain in detail? Uh, specifically, uh, with correctly cited quotations, what I'm getting at. No. Uh, all these bloody words, and you're not listening. I have thought this through, I promise. And you're just not, you're just, you're just not listening. Ooh! The other day, my dog smelt me cooking pork. It came into the kitchen, it grabbed the meat right before frying time. Yeah, I have frying time as well. Um, oh, it's a dog eat hog world. Ooh, my dog goes mental. My dog goes mental when it sees cats like dogs do. And this one time, my dog ran and fully attacked this cat. Oh, it's a dog eat mog world out there. Oh, the other day I took my dog on a run with me and it was useless. But it kept getting in my way and then eventually, it's a, it's a mongrel, it limps and then eventually, it bit me to stop, and so I did. Oh, it's a dog-eat-jog world. <laughs> oh, I'm, ah! I'm not, this is not just what I'm doing. I'm not just, this is not just random. Uh, in my GCSEs, I learned that when a flower does photosynthesis in the light, and, and then it's biology. And I learned that was, that was that, and that was biology. And then I remembered how much my dog likes eating flowers, and I thought, oh, bloody hell! Isn't it just a dog eat biolog e World out there. Yeah. Come on. Uh, oh. Dog tree, dog eat log, dog clouds, fog, dog, pond, frog. Um, I'm not, I promise, this, the rest of this hasn't just been repetitive rhymes. It does have this, this, this sort of through line. Oh, I was driving over the moors the other night and there was loads of steamy cars pulled over, so I pulled over to check and there was loads of sweaty perverts stood around wanking and I just, I wondered what the wanking over. So I peered through the car window and horrified, I thought to myself, bloody hell, it's just a dog, dog's dog world out there. <laughs> oh, my dog's a politically corrupt tyrant. My dog wants to lock Julian Assange up. Oh, isn't it a dog eat blog world out there? Come on. What, what does your dog eat? <laughs> you clearly not listening. Um, I hope you're proud because, as you can see, you've upset me. I hope you're all really proud. I hope you're proud. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I hope you're proud. I hope you're proud of what you did. I hope you're proud. I hope you're proud. You horrible, nasty little child. I hope you're proud, you cunt. I hope you're proud, David Cameron, for stealing everyone's cash. I hope you're proud about a big society which sits around you getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And smaller. Do you know what's big, David Cameron? The cost of the military is big. And so is your bank account slash self-pride because the two go hand in hand. A big society and where there's a will, there's a way, isn't there? Because every time I write out a job application form with the best will in the world, it gets mauled by the biggest dog going. So go on, David Cameron, put your money where your mouth is and give me a job. Come and kiss me, David Cameron. You get to keep it. Sir Winston Churchill. Eat Sir Neville Chamberlain. Clement Attlee eats Sir Winston Churchill. Eat Sir Clement Attlee. Sir Anthony Eden eats Sir Winston Churchill. Harold Macmillan eats Sir Anthony Eden. Sir An Alec Douglas Home eats Harold Macmillan. Harold Wilson eats Sir Alec Douglas Home. Sir Edward Heath eats Harold Wilson eats Sir Ed James Edward Heath. James Callaghan eats. Harold Wilson, Baroness Margaret Thatcher, eats James Callaghan. Sir John Major eats Baroness Margaret Thatcher. Tony Blair eats Sir John Major. Gordon Brown eats Tony Blair. David Cameron eats Gordon Brown. And Nick Clegg's also there somewhere, I think. Dog eat, 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 Isn't it just a God eat God world? I hope they're proud. I hope you're all proud. I hope you're proud too. Russell Brand, lots of speaking, lots of looking like you're listening, void of hearing. What do you think about what Russell Brand said on Question Time? 
Bollocks. My turn. <laughs> what do you think of, about what Russell Brand said to Jeremy Paxman on Question Time? What do you think about the time when Russell Brand said, I'm really clever, me, I can invent words like bucky wook, but I can also use big words that really exist, like tawdry pretenses. <laughs> now, he never said that exact quote, but what do you think? What do you think about the time that Jeremy Paxman, the Lord of Questions, entrusted his entire political opinion in a man who, for the only, only justifying title of political importance he can muster up, is traditional British cheeky chappy. What do you think about the time Russell Brand said, and he actually did say, I'm a bit like Jesus, me. Russell Brand, you are a bit like Jesus. You're a bit like Jesus having his first quasi rebellious mid-pubescent temper tantrum at God for not letting him stay out late at the big boys' party. <laughs> it's a god it god world, Russell Brand, try sticking... To your only slightly more rational use of real words and retitle your biography, Russell Brand's tawdry pretenses. I'm being bitter again, but it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Out there, out where. Out there, out where. Sex, life, death, despair, look at me. There's a set of cunts there, but there's a set of bloody fucking cunts everywhere. Out there, out where in London, in London where you keep your head down blind. No, out there, out there in England where we smile all polite and just fine, but you want to scream. No, out there, out there in the world where you have to compete to stay alive. No, out there, out there in space where everything moves mathematically because we've never been there to corrupt it with our brains. No, out there, out there where there's nothing out where, out there, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, I'd said. Out there, it's a dog-eat monologue world, a dog-eat epilogue world because I'd seen it in here. I'd seen my overexcited mongrel eat an epilogue and I knew, I knew it was a doggy. I knew it was in here, out there. It was what it was in here. I was it, what was it out there? Calm down, dog, I shouted, and he, she, it looked at me as if to say, no, you calm down, and walks calm me down, and walks calm dogs down. Particularly poorly trained dogs, poorly trained mongrels that don't behave. We went out, out there, out where, past the walls, into London, into England, into the world, into space, into nowhere, but wasn't I already there? I was in here, in there, not out there. Out where, out there, and I put my monologue to the back of my mind, and I walked as my dog did, I suppose, and there was just millions of things out there that my dog walked past, that I walked past, and millions of things that I did notice, and did see, and did feel, and did smell, and did hear, and there were millions of things that my dog did notice, and did stop to acknowledge and did see and did feel and did smell and did hear and in fact everything out here, out where, out here, out there seemed pretty noticeable like separate but indistinguishable parts of a song Bad Dog Good Dog Another Dog out there and Dog sees Dog and Dog's lost and Dog's happy and Dog's free So my dog sees this dog out here and, uh, and it gets all excited like dogs do and my dog's badly trained, it's a mongrel so it kind of waddles over and the other's just like, it's just a dog and the two are just kind of um, the dogs, it's just like yin and yang but with a mongrel and a dog and they're confused and in kind of a circle and there's noses and there's arses and there's sniffing and they, and they trip over and my dog's a crossbreed so it limps a bit anyway, this is my limp um, and they kind of <laughs> sniff and nudge each other and they're dogs they're just like the dogs, and well, you've never actually seen another dog eat another dog, have you? Take another dog's face in its mouth and just eat it. They just sniff each other and that. It's a dog sniff dog world. It's a dog sniff arse of other dog world. Dog sees dog. Dog is lost. Dog is happy. Dog is free. Dog sees dog. Dog is last. Dog is happy. Dog is free. It is a dog eat dog world. It is a dog eat dog world. Dog eat dog world, dog eat dog world, isn't it, apparently, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, each one moment is what it is connected out there, or at least that's what I think at the end of the day, when all's said and done, it is what it is, or so they say, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, isn't it? It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world at the end of the day, at the end of the day it gets dark, when all's said and done at the end of the day it gets dark, except in Iceland in June and even in December there's an argument that it doesn't because it was dark earlier too. At the end of the day, when Samuel Beckett asked us to try again, to try better, to fail better, note that he never promised us we would succeed at the end, he never asked us to win at the end, and nobody does, nobody wins, everyone loses, just some of us lose, having spent more time chasing the things that they can't have than others, in fact, it's the failures that define us, for materially, they are us, they're what we do have, all the people around us are what we do have, there's no winners, so what are you fighting for? At the end of the day, each one moment out there just is what it is. That's what I think. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's fine.
So you came here to uh, to listen, I suppose, for that. Cheers. I hope you haven't come for very specific reasons, because clearly there's nothing tangible that I can really give you. Um, I hope you didn't come here because you like this, because you like that, because, I mean, this so, because you like me. me. Um, I hope you came here for everything and none at all. Simply, I hope that you're here and remind you how difficult a thing that is to be in this day and age. Open your eyes, open your ears, feel your clothes on your skin, say what you mean, and use those things called words to your advantage, because you invented them, and without you, they're nothing. Breathe the same air as the living, breathing human being sat next to you, or you can fight for it. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, isn't it? Or is it? <sighs> Oh, <laughs> 